Okay. Oh, here we go. I knew that this one was gonna come out at some point and I'm just gonna be completely honest. Um, if, if you're gonna judge me, I'm just gonna say that, have you ever been me? No. So I, I believe that um, we don't have the right to judge anyone unless we are actually in their shoes and in their life. And the only person living my life is me. Okay, um, and, and for you to, ju to judge me or tell me that I'm wrong or tell me that I'm going to hell or whatever, 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 whatever. Um, this is a very serious one and I'm probably going to cry. Um, and the topic is abortion. Um, so, um, growing up, um, I, I didn't really ever feel like I ever wanted to have children. Um, I kind of looked at my family life and was like, man, this kind of doesn't look super fun to like have babies and like be in a family or be a mom or it, this just kind of just doesn't really look fun for me. Plus with my, um, my gender identity like growing a child inside of me and giving birth to it for me for me to do that has always seemed like an extremely foreign thing um you know for men men will never ever 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 understand because they never will get pregnant and will never ever grow a child in them. And in fact, like any any man that is even going to dare, 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 say anything to any woman on the planet about abortion or pregnancy or anything, you can seriously close your mouth because you have absolutely no idea what you are even talking about so um i'm just going to be completely honest with you and tell everyone that i have had three abortions in my lifetime um mostly because i never have wanted to have a child on my own and secondly because I've never really met anyone that I've ever wanted to have um, a child with. In my earlier days, I was very, very promiscuous and um, just not very smart. I've never really believed in birth control because I was on birth control once when I was about 19 and it made me literally feel like a fucking psycho and the hormones in me really made me feel icky just like every other pill that I've ever been on before it makes me doesn't not feel like myself so if I'm if I'm being honest the first time that I got pregnant was when I was about um I would say 20 years old um it was at a time where I was doing um quite a few drugs um you know, I, I was in an extremely abusive, unhealthy relationship with a drug addict, drug dealer. And he had told me that he um, pretty much got me pregnant on purpose to try to keep me in that relationship. Um, at the same time, I had a cyst on the end of my tailbone. Um, and I had gone to the doctor um, and they it was so painful. I mean, I was up, I was living up, um, in Minnesota at the time with my grandma and like, it was so painful that I had to like go in and have an operation, um, to have it removed this whole entire time. I had no idea that I was even pregnant. The doctors did not give me a pregnancy test. 
um, before they performed this surgery on me. I'm sure that there was some kind of question along the way. Are you pregnant? I mean, I, I, to my knowledge, had no idea that I was pregnant at the time. So they had done this surgery. I was on morphine, um, all the stuff like that. And then after the surgery and after I was home, I got extremely, extremely, extremely sick. Um, mostly because I finally took a pregnancy test and I was like, holy fucking crap. Like, I'm pregnant. Like, this, like, this, this is really jacked up because, like, what in the world am I supposed to do now? So I had asked my doctor and they're like, well, there's a pretty good chance that that baby is going to be, is already so damaged from all the morphine and everything that, that we did with the surgery and all the anesthesia. I'll, you know what I mean? And I'm just like, awesome. Thanks so much. This would have been a lovely thing to have known before I went through all of this that I was pregnant. You know, I mean, that's, you know, at this point in my life, my bad for not um, knowing or whatever. But I really don't think it would have changed my mind on having that baby the second time. Um... Let's just put it this way. I felt so relieved after it, it was over and, and I, I, I knew that I wasn't pregnant anymore. It, it was honestly probably one of the best experiences that I've ever had because um, I, I was terrified, you know, and I didn't have any moral thing in me that's saying, don't do this, this is bad. This was me being like, I can't bring a child with that into this world that I know is gonna be messed up. So it, to me, it was the only decision that I had to make. And plus, I didn't wanna have a freaking child with that dude and I actually think he's freaking dead now because of a drug overdose so um the second time that I got pregnant it was I was really really stupid on um one night I freaking had a one night stand with some person that I barely even knew um a, about a month later I found out that I was pregnant and honestly I was kind of like I really don't even really I can't even pinpoint the time that I would have had sex that I would have gotten pregnant. I've kind of had an idea of who it was and this person once again was not someone that I would want to have a child with and um, that I wanted to be attached to for the next 18 years or, or anything, you know, because men there's so many freaking dudes out there that just kind of like absolve themselves from any responsibility, you know. And I I knew that my family was not gonna was not going to be supportive. My mother would have lost her fucking shit um, if I would have. Let's just put it this way: I don't. I don't know if I would have been able to stay sober long enough to um, go through with with a full nine months of not using drugs or alcohol or smoking and that's bad. So then the third time um, that I got pregnant. Um, I, I did not know at all who the father was and at that time I was also raped at that time so um I uh, th there's a difference between like being so drunk that you don't remember having sex with someone um, and and a dude like fully taking advantage of you when you are so intoxicated that you have no fucking wherewithal on what's going on and I mean that that, that time it was very very simple to me um, and then ever since that third abortion that I've had um, 
I, I don't feel bad about having any of them. I mean, I've literally soul searched and asked myself if you could go back in time, um, would you do it again? Abs absolutely. Um, I was in no place in my life at any of those times to be able to take care of a child. Um, you know, and I, I still, even to this day, am, first of all, I'm not in any relationship with anyone that, um, that I would want to have a child with any, anyone. Having a child has never been anything that I've ever really wanted to do. Of course, it's a, kind of like a romanticized, fant fantastical, possible, I, at, at times there, I've, but, but no, once I actually think about it, no, and I, I'm sorry, like, if, if you take the, a woman's right to choose away, um, abortion will still go on regardless, and it's like, um, if you can, um, say that, you know, doing all these fertility things to have a baby, um, is ethical, then it ending and terminating a pregnancy, it, it's the same kind of thing. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I don't even want to apologize for that because I probably, first of all, I look at sex in a completely different way now and I, I don't want to be just having like random sex with anyone I, do, I want it to like mean something now like I I value myself a lot more than I used to and um I was celibate for a very 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 long time and I think now I'm back on this um journey of celibacy um and um self-discovery on what what my true um, sexual path is energetically and just just realizing um, wh what it means to me now you know so many people just um, it's it's a pleasure thing and it's it's not that anymore to me um, it's, it's sacred now and um, I just um, if it if it's me getting to a point of forgiving myself like i i don't feel like there's anything to feel bad for it it was my decision at the time it is my body um nobody else has to take care of that kid except me you know and i i don't feel like it should be shamed and i don't feel like i should be ashamed um, and I don't feel bad. I wouldn't take it back at all. Um, if I was in those circumstances again, it kind of does fucking suck that the first time, um, that I became pregnant, um, that, that they told me that the kid was freaking messed up because of, once again, kind of like a medical malpractice kind of thing. Um, I think that times have changed, but I'm, I will fully support any woman that, that wants to get an abortion. If she is not ready to be a mom, um, if, if you want to have that baby and can carry it to term and give it up for adoption, that is also something that I had thought about the second time and the third time that I was pregnant. Well, not the third time because of the whatever but the second time i thought well you know i don't want to have this i don't know first of all i don't know 100 percent for sure if that's who but like i i just would not be able to give up my own flesh and blood um for adoption um i sometimes think about if i would have had those kids um how my life would be different, completely different, completely different, completely different. I, I can't even go back and ask the what ifs because it's like it it did not happen. So, 
I'm only upsetting myself or going back and asking really ridiculous questions because um, all I ever felt in any of those three times is that I was relieved and that it was the best decision that I ever made and I have absolutely zero 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 regrets and I would go back and do the exact same thing again if that makes me evil if that makes me a bad person in your eyes then you are judging me and there's nobody um nobody that has the right to judge me or tell me anything um so um it's it's not like it's a scary thing for me to admit in fact the first time that i did that i had my first abortion i um actually felt like i went through an extremely <laughs> spiritually enlightening experience to where my family literally put me in the loony bin and like the mental institution um because i i had this liberation and this like somewhat of an awakening just because it was like life you know like before this like it, it wasn't it didn't come about in a circumstance where it was sacred and with them performing those medical things on me and me being on morphine drip and all this stuff like that i never felt like that that child was ever going to have like a fair chance anyway um of being normal i mean i i can't question i can't go back i mean that is just something that i have to accept and um i've chosen to have a different outlook on it and um there's so many different circumstances of why a female um would have an abortion or should have an abortion but ultimately like it it's the, the opposite spec the oppositeness of the spectrum is if you can go through all of these fertility things to have a baby why is that any different of playing god than having an abortion i mean if if that's like a new way of looking at it or thinking about it or whatever then i'm gonna just point that out just like if, if you're going to go in and um, have them perform operations on you and have um, surgeons and everybody playing God on you, what what's any different than being like, yo, like I've got this disease and I kind of want to die, um, you know, doctor assisted, whatever. Like that was a little bit deeper than I don't I don't know. I have. I have nothing to hide. I have I have no secrets. I have nothing to hide. Really with sharing that, I just I just really more than anything hope that that reaches someone um and makes them feel better and and makes them feel better. I feel better for sharing that. I, I love myself so much that 